What is going on guys? This is the Walkthrough King and 12.20 just dropped for Fortnite. Here we have a complete video on everything new that is coming with this update. If anything was missed for this update video, be sure to check the description and I will be posting updates in there as we go if I missed anything. Anyways, for starters, let's go ahead and take a look at the map updates themselves. We have at Pleasant Park, the giant underground area is now visible. You do not have to use the porta potties to get into that. And a helicopter spawn is inside of it as well. Helicopters are also in the game. We'll show some gameplay of that momentarily. Nothing too fancy with these changes here, but this is actually really, really nice to see here too. And the main point of interest change for this update was if we head over to the rig, we're going to see in just a moment, this was all done live. Gotta love the live takes. Gotta love the live take videos. As well as our amazing community commenting live in the bottom left from the stream this was taken from. Anyways, as we get over to the oil rig right here, you can see there is a massive oil spill in the water. Something bad happened at the oil rig. We do not know what yet. We're probably going to figure out what from the storyline. But the oil rig is now in shambles. It is just completely destroyed. It is completely broken up. There's a huge oil spill. We need to get somebody on top of this. This can't be good for the environment. But this is what the oil rig now looks like. It does still have the vault. So if you guys do drop here, you can still get into the vault. So don't worry. The vault is still here. The loot from the vault is still here. Don't have to worry about that. That was something I was worried about when I first saw this. This is what the oil rig now looks like, though. It is just completely destroyed. And... Let's go ahead and get that chopper gameplay. This is what the helicopter looks like. It is glorious. That sound you just heard is the horn. If you use the horn sound, you have the greatest song ever playing. If this does not get you prepared for a battle, I don't know what would. I don't know what would. This is the greatest song of all time for any battle. So, moving along, let's get into... That, those were the main gameplay changes. Let's move into the cosmetic side of things. Bam! These are all the new cosmetics for this update right here. We have a bunch of new emotes, pickaxes, as well as wraps. And there's also a bunch of new skins. For Save the World, we have a brand new hero, Gold Knox. I close out of these as we go. This is a brand new loading screen for a brand new LTM that is going to be dropping soon, probably in the next couple of hours from the, when this video is posted. This is a spy LTM, Ghost versus Shadow. Here is in-game images, I guess not in-game, but in-game renders of the new Slurp Legends pack that is coming. These skins are reactive. As you drink shields, they will transform into this. These skins kind of look really creepy. I don't know about you guys. This was the updated map image. Also, helicopters can swim. Oh, I'll wait until I go back into that from the replay. This is the new LTM's challenges. You will get 80k XP per challenge that you complete. As well as this is Meow Soul's updated challenges. Instead of finding intel, you are going to deliver fish. We have a bunch of updated accolades. The disguise was also upgraded. I'm not sure if this is going to be implemented soon or if this still needs more work, but this was updated in the game files. We also have, for our creative users, the Wild West prefabs are now in the game, so this is Wild West Tilted. There are now posters that are going to be going up around the map for joining Ghost Squad or joining Shadow Squad. I hope at the end of the season we have a huge LTM for both of them, where we get to choose as a community which one comes out on top. That would be really cool to see. 
The following items did receive updates and these should be in the new LTM as well as possibly unvaulted in the main game. Not sure yet on that. Clingers as well as the shield bubble and chug splashes. I am so excited if those come to the main game. These are all of the spy tech perks. So these are going to be a part of the new spy LTM that I was talking about. Ghost versus shadow. We also have a bunch of new Save the World quests, so there is a new Save the World quest line. Gotta give Save the World a bit of love. Now let's update, let's see, do they have the bug fixes posted? They do indeed. This is perfect. These were not posted earlier. So here are all the bug fixes for this update. 12.20, since they don't post actual patch note pages anymore, this is where we go to see the bug fixes. There is one new bug. I gotta give a PSA. Do not go into the Ghost vs. Shadow menu on PC. I don't know if it is that way on any other platform, but you will get stuck in that menu and you cannot get out unless you restart your game. So that is one new bug that just came out. Quick PSA, do not go into that menu unless you want to restart your game. I have no idea if it works like that on console, but let me know if it does in the comments. And that is everything that we know so far about 12.20. We also do have some skins that I missed. Let me pull up the skins. And there's also one other thing that I missed, actually. So we're, we're not done just yet. We're not done just yet. Lockers have been drastically changed. We now have a ton of updates done to the lockers. All of the images have been redone. They look really, really nice and clean. This is now what the locker menu looks like when you go into it. And we have presets. So if you want to preset up a bunch of different styles with your skins you can now do this and name them this is a really cool feature been requested for a long time glad it's in the game now but these are all the icons and what they look like for the rarities they have all been updated i feel like this is a really really nice and clean look i especially love the animated backgrounds that they have for these special ones all in all a really really good update in my opinion these look really, really clean and nice. Whoever did this, kudos to you. Really good job, Epic. Item shop has also been updated. We have the new Taylor skin. And he is reactive as well. Now the last thing we got to show before we take off is all of the new leaked skins missed a few in that last image so here are the leaked skins as well anyways i will keep the description updated if anything new is posted and we have any new information of anything i missed from this let me know what you guys think of this update in the comments if you guys are new here definitely recommend subscribing we always post videos the moment anything happens to keep you guys in the loop with the most up-to-date information I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we will see you at the next one. Peace out, everybody. This has been The Walkthrough King. I'm out for now.